to policies and action plan for a secure and sustainable agriculture. The report was given in uh, August 2019 and uh, really had looked at the various concerns of farmers and what more can be done to improve their plight. We, we, we know that farmers now need good land and healthy soils. Soils are more thirsty than hungry, as Dr. Randhava used to. Uh, uh, rather, soils are more hungry than thirsty, as Dr. Randhava used to sell. Adequate good quality water is required. Timely supply of key inputs to the farmers and technologies. Access to the knowledge and through ex efficient extension uh, services so that there are no dissemination losses access to the credit at low interest rate and linkage to national and global markets and above all the respect and dignity in the society to attract youth in agriculture let me tell you when i uh, decided to take agriculture as my uh, subject for higher education all my class fellows laughed at me because that time it was a craze for people to either go to medical side or to become engineer. Agriculture was possibly not even thought to be a, a technical subject. And uh, uh, in retrospect, let me tell you that I have no regret for having accepted and taken this challenge. But no doubt, still we are struggling whether agriculture gets that kind of dignity in society, uh, which it, it deserves, despite of what uh, accomplishments we have made. In that context now, the, when we look at the youth, there are obvious challenges before that. First is they need better knowledge. Uh, they don't want to experience right in the beginning the failures because of lack of knowledge. And that's why they need institutional backup. No exposure to agriculture in schools they have. Thanks to the new education policy that government has now agreed to see that agriculture will be taught as a subject in schools. We have been demanding it for long and I'm glad it has happened now. Hopefully it will be implemented soon. Because unless child knows where potato grows, whether above soil or below soil, how would he appreciate the, the subject of agriculture? Limited access to land. Mostly the farmers have 85% have small holdings below two hectares of land. Lack of financial resources. They don't know where to go and from where to get uh, resources to begin any new enterprise and difficulties in linking to market because middle people and the organized farm sector would not let farmers and the laws also, which we had, uh, which we wanted to change uh, to, to see that farmers are free to sell where they want. Uh, so these, these are the difficulties of marketing. No voice and decision making in the house. Uh, senior people would hardly listen to the, the young people, and I will tell a story on this later, and poor social image of agriculture, which I have mentioned. And in fact, there exists aspiration and attainment gap due to the lack of handholding, mentorship, and uh, funding support. So how can we bridge this gap of aspiration and attainment by youth in agriculture? So what is the way forward? When we look at youth, youth is our great strength. I think that globally, we should be proud of it in the sense, on one side, no doubt, we have more population, but to have a higher population of young people is a strength for the nation to build a future, which is brighter. Global population we know is expected to be 9 billion by 2050. Youth will be around 20%. India has a comparative advantage over other countries. We have the largest uh, population of youth, even more than China, that is of 356 million, ranging between 10 to 24 years 
of the age group. And of these, around 200 million live in rural areas. So they are having their living either directly or indirectly around agriculture as a profession. India's population is expected to remain young, longer than that of China and even Indonesia, which are two thickly populated countries in Asia. Average age of the Indian population is 30 years, as against 40 in USA, 46 in Europe, and 47 in Japan. So you can see, we have all the bright future. And when I said, uh, we are the generation uh, prior to independence, now is the generation, which uh, is the second generation, which has also served their purpose and, and uh, served the nation. And uh, now the third generation is of youth. And we are now talking of this third generation after independence, which has to take all the challenge for future. So agriculture is a key sector. It has sustains still 55% of people and youth and agriculture are the twin pillars for achieving sustainable development goals. Uh, this we have uh, very clearly uh, realized and uh, realized through various 